Hi everyone, I'm Noemi Gill and welcome to my presentation, HIV Testing Needs in South Los Angeles Black and Latinx Communities. Understanding HIV testing behaviors and clinical outcomes are key to the epidemic response. This is especially important for communities most impacted by HIV yet are less likely to test and seek treatment. In 2018, new HIV diagnosis for Black and Latinx in LA County was 51 and 20 per 100,000 respectively. This compared to in the same year, newly diagnosed Black and Latinx people nationwide were 36 and 16 per 100,000 respectively. The purpose of this study was to examine baseline HIV disease status of newly diagnosed patients in South LA to understand HIV risk and prevention in this setting where the highest percentage of Black and Latinx people reside. We ran descriptive and bivariate analysis on 2016 to 2020 HIV testing and disease outcomes for newly diagnosed patients. We took de-identified clinical medical record data from a county-run community clinic in South LA. The variables analyzed include demographics, baseline CD4 count, and antiretroviral therapy prescription rates. This table represents results of a bivariate analysis of baseline CD4 count by patient demographics. A CD4 count is a blood test used to determine the number of CD4 cells in the body. The CD4 count in an individual with a healthy immune system ranges from 500 to 1600 cells per cubic millimeter of blood. A low CD4 count means that the HIV virus is attacking the CD4 cells and has weakened the immune system. The baseline CD4 count gives us information about the progression of the HIV infection and how it has impacted an individual's immune system prior to their diagnosis. The overall sample was 281 people and consisted of 47% Black, 38.8% Latinx, and 11.7% other races. Over half were unemployed at 51.6% and 60.1% received Medi-Cal insurance coverage. The CD4 count distribution was 35.6% below 200, 31.7% 202 to 499, and 23.5% above 500. In the bivariate analysis, race and ethnicity, age, and employment status were significantly related to unhealthy baseline CD4 counts, that is CD4 counts below 500, to include 71.5% Black and 78.5% Latinx. 75.8% were unemployed, and these patients were more likely to have unhealthy immune systems when compared to the 38.8% of those employed. Although Black and Latinx patients were more likely to have low baseline CD4 counts when compared to other races, they did have high rates of antiretroviral therapy prescription after diagnosis. There is a large portion of patients with CD4 counts below 500 at the time of diagnosis, meaning they present late for HIV testing. This suggests that they have high HIV risk profiles and limited access to prevention. Overall, linkage and retention has been generally worse among younger people, women, and racial ethnic minorities. Late presentation is an essential indicator of the effectiveness of prevention programs and testing campaigns. Renewed HIV prevention and treatment strategies, along with increased funding for current community-based strategies for these South LA communities are essential. This research was supported in part by an NIH National Institute on Minority Health Disparities grant. A big thank you to my mentors, Dr. Joseph Daniels, David Lee, Sinead Teklahemana, and Dr. Dulce Kerma for your unwavering support and guidance. A special thank you to my co-authors, Brianne McAndrew and Chanel Bailey, for all your help in every step of the process. Thank you for listening and take care.